I am going to be filming a video that is most definitely long overdue and I'm so sorry about it. Um, so I'm filming my August favorites today. I know, like I said, I am definitely so far behind, but it's going up nonetheless. It was really important for me to film this for you guys because I know that many of you really enjoy favorites videos and I enjoy filming favorites videos. They're probably one of my favorite videos to film, my favorites favorites videos. Does that make sense? <laughs> so um, it's really important for me to not miss it because I definitely like telling you guys my favorites for each and every month. So because it's always changing, I feel like since I'm such an indecisive person. <laughs> so anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing what my August favorites are, then please keep watching. I wanted to talk to you guys about a very, very popular palette that I have been. I can't even tell you guys how obsessed I've been over this palette. Ever since I saw it on social media, I was like, oh my God. Okay, that obviously has to be mine. It had my name written all over it and it is ideal for fall and the best part is it is so inexpensive. I recently went to the Morphe store in Burbank, California and I picked up a ton of different stuff and one of the things that I picked up there was the Morphe 35O palette. I know that everybody has been talking about it and there is a reason why everybody has been talking about it. It is absolutely amazing. So let me just let me just show you what I'm talking about. Obviously, this is what it looks like on the outside. All of their packaging looks like this for their palettes, but it's what is on the inside that matters. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Can we talk about how beautiful these shades are, especially for the fall? Like I said, this is so ideal for fall. And I actually am wearing some of these colors on my eyes right now. And so I just, I love this palette so much. And the reason why it's been spoken about all over social media and here on YouTube is because it's absolutely amazing. All of these shadows are so pigmented and just so blendable and they are so beautiful. And also the palette itself is so inexpensive. I've been loving this and I'll just show you guys how pigmented this freaking palette is. I'll just show you a few swatches. I'm not going to do a full swatch of the palette, but if you are interested in seeing a full swatch of the 35O palette, definitely let me know and I will make a video dedicated to that only. So let me know if you guys want to see something like that because I have no problem filming a video like that because I know a lot of people have been interested in the 35O palette. Um, but one thing I wanted to mention real quickly about the palette, when I was at the Morphe store, and by the way, the girls there and the guys were so nice and so kind and so helpful. So I asked them when this is going to be back in stock because right now it is currently out of stock. It is not available online. It's only available in the store. Um, and they said that this will be back in stock for those of you that have been waiting at the end of September. So not too far away. You don't have that much longer to wait. So just be patient because they will be restocking this very soon. Just letting you guys know that. Now, speaking of Morphe, um, I kind of wanted to tell you guys that I maybe went a little ham at the store. <laughs> and when I say ham, I definitely did go ham. Like I went insane and I bought a ton of different brushes. Now, most of the brushes that I bought from Morphe are from their Elite Collection, which I've also heard absolutely amazing things about. So, this is what I got. <laughs> Like I said, I kind of did go ham on them. I mean, but how can you not? Seriously, their brushes, especially their Elite Collection, I don't even know what to say to you guys other than they are absolutely amazing and they are so affordable. Morphe as a brand is so affordable and for their products being the, like the quality that it is and being how affordable they are, I'm just so surprised and so shocked at that. So. I will go ahead and let you guys know real quickly what I got. So I got the E32 brush and I really like using this for my brow bone highlight. Um, so I'll just go ahead and place this right above my brows. And I've been using this a lot to do that. And I absolutely love this for highlighting the brow bone area. It's, um, it's an amazing brush to do that. So that's what I've been using this for a lot. The next brush that I got is a Morphe M513 brush. This is amazing at blending out the crease area, so that is why I decided to pick this up because I heard a lot of good things about this specific brush. 
and it's amazing and like I said so affordable like I can't even believe how affordable their products are so love this brush for blending out the crease the next brush that I got is the Morphe E28 brush. It is from their Elite Collection, and this is amazing at blending out shadow. Absolutely amazing. It just makes everything so flawless, and like honestly, in my opinion, it gives a very airbrushed effect. So I love this brush so much. The next brush that I got is the E27. Um, this is an absolutely amazing, fluffy, brush like to blend and everything it's, it's absolutely amazing what I really like doing with this specific brush is I like to use this brush um, for my transition shade so I will go ahead and use this all over my eyes and that's what I really love this brush for but it's of course amazing at blending everything out as well and it's so so smooth their entire elite collection is unbelievable and so smooth and just like the price is right for sure the next brush that I got is the M512. What I like using for this brush is definitely contour. I love contouring my, my cheeks with this because I feel like this just makes everything so like sculpted. You know what I'm saying? And I love using this because what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do my contour right here and then I'll, I'll blend up to kind of diffuse the contour so that way it's not so harsh. So I really, really love this brush for contour, especially if you're going for a structured look. If you're going for something a little bit more subtle, then I probably wouldn't use this brush, but if you're wanting a more structured look, then this brush is amazing and will definitely do that for you. Then the next brush I got is the M431 brush. This brush I love because um, I like to use this brush for blending out my eyeshadow under my eyes. Um, it's a pencil brush, that's what it's used for, so this is an amazing, amazing brush to do that. So if you're like me and you like kind of smoking out your lower lash line, then this will be absolutely amazing and will do a great job at doing that for sure. Speaking of blending things out on the lower lash line, um, if you're going to apply shadows and things like that on the lower lash line, then this brush is perfect for that. It's the Morphe M432 brush and it's so flat and it is a pretty dense brush as well and it just fits perfectly right under the eye so I like to pack shadow on with this brush and then I will go back in with the Morphe M431 brush and just blend everything out so it's not so harsh and then I got the E4 the, I'm telling you guys the Elite Collection is bomb like absolutely freaking amazing so I really, really love this brush because I, this brush really can be used for a lot of different things. First of all, it's so soft, but um, what I like to do is I like to contour with this brush. So I will, if I want something a little bit lighter and a little bit more diffuse, and I will contour with this brush and kind of blend upwards. I will also apply my blush with this brush. Um, so you guys try saying that by the way, blush with this brush. That is such a tongue twister. <laughs> but I will apply my blush with this brush and um, I will just kind of lightly dab it onto my cheeks and then blend it out. I also apply my bronzer with it. So really, I love using this brush because it is tapered. Um, so I love it because it fits into the area if you want to contour. Really, this brush can be used for a lot of different things, so I love this. Again, this is the E4. I also picked up the Morphe E3 brush, and I love this brush because, first of all, their Lee Collection is just the softest like brushes I've ever felt in my entire life but um, I got this brush because I like to apply my blush with this as well and I also like to bronze up the face using this I will also go ahead and use this for my powder under the eyes because it is a little bit tapered on the top so sometimes I like to do that too and just apply my powder under the eyes to set it that way if I'm not looking to do anything too intense and too crazy then I'll go ahead and do that it is kind of big for that but I really like using it. And then last but not least, I picked up the E2, and this is just a big powder brush, and it is so amazing. What I like to use this brush for mainly is I will bronze up my face, so if I'm not feeling so tan, and I don't self tan or go in a tanning bed at all, um, it's, not, it's just not good for my specific skin type, so um, if I'm feeling a little pale that day, or if I just want some extra color in my face, I want to look more alive and not so dead, then I will bronze up my face with the E2 brush and just kind of apply some bronzer all over. And this is great for applying bronzer under the chin area, like on the neck, because it is so 
large. You know what I'm saying? So I love this brush so much. These next few products are going to be from MAC as well. So um, I've been looking for a really good brow bone highlight color and I don't know why but I just haven't been able to find one lately until I found this from MAC and this is in the shade Shroom and now because I've used this I like I'm not going to be using anything else on my brow bone like I do not envision me using anything else because it is, it is so beautiful and so amazing and it's not too frosty and it's not too stark and, and it's not too white you know it is like the perfect shade for a brow bone highlight and this is great on many different skin tones as well and the last thing that I got from MAC that I have been loving it is a lip liner and this is in the shade stone and it's actually what is um, on my lips right now that is what I used for lining my lips and as well as filling them in I love it it is a very different color I don't have anything like this in my collection at all and it is like it's like a muted grayish brownish taupe color if that makes any sense at all so I love it I think it's very different I think it's very unique and I just I love it for the fall honestly it's why I got it because I was looking for a really good liner for the fall and I saw stone and I was immediately attracted to it so I really love this a lot and so last but not least is a highlighter now you guys know if you know me then you know that I have been obsessed with highlighters I am I've always been obsessed with highlighters and when I got this specific highlighter in the mail I was so ecstatic and so happy so it is the new Anastasia illuminator and this is in the shade so Hollywood um, as soon as I saw this on their Instagram, I was like, I'm getting that, obviously. This is what it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. And this is actually what I'm wearing today along with Champagne Pop. I just, I've been mixing those two together and I think it's so beautiful, but by itself, this by itself is absolutely beautiful as well. And it's just so pigmented and so beautiful and such a gorgeous color for basically almost all skin tones in my opinion anyways so this is what it looks like swatched it's so pretty this is definitely one of my favorite highlighters for sure besides champagne pop <laughs> so guys that is the end of this video I really hope that you guys enjoyed I definitely love sharing my favorites with you guys every single month so let me know in the comments down below what your guys favorites were for the month of August I'd really appreciate it because that's just another way for me to communicate with you guys and also I get to see some cool products that I maybe don't have that I want to try as well. So definitely be sure to do that. And also don't forget to keep up with me on all of my social media sites. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. So until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. See what I have to do in order for me to be taller because I'm so short. I have to put pillows on my chair. Yeah, that's how tiny I am. I will also apply my brush, my, my. <sighs> Forgot what I was gonna say. I forgot what I was gonna say. I'm gonna be filming my August favorites, September favorites. <sighs> Why is it so difficult for me to talk today?